Hi, I'm Will Marshall. Today I'm going to be talking to you about a fantastic little tool for client-side development called Live Reload. Now, Live Reload simply solves the problem of having to reload a page every time you make changes to it. In typical web development, when you change the HTML, the JavaScript, the CSS on a page, you have to go to your browser, you have to refresh the page, like so, and then you'll be able to see the changes. There are two problems with doing this. The first is it kind of takes you out of the workflow and it takes a little bit of time. Now each refresh doesn't take very long, so it might not seem like such a big deal. But when you're working on projects for days at a time and you're doing this thousands or even tens of thousands of times a day, this adds up and you actually end up wasting a lot of time and kind of taking yourself out of the flow when you're doing it. The second issue is that every time you refresh a page, you lose the state of that page. So if you've scrolled or you've opened up JavaScript pop-ups or things like that within your page, uh, the refresh will take that all away and you'll go back to where the page was. So if you're, for example, styling a JavaScript pop-up that's at the bottom of the page, every single time you refresh, you'll have to scroll down to the bottom of the page, you'll have to open that pop-up and then you'll be able to see the changes. That gets really inefficient and really frustrating. So what Live Reload does is it allows you to load up a project and will automatically watch files for you. And uh, every time a file that is a CSS, HTML, JavaScript, etc. file is changed, Live Reload will connect to your browser through a little plugin you can see up here, also called Live Reload, and it will tell the page to refresh automatically. Um, not only that, but Live Reload is quite smart. So when it sees a CSS or images have been changed, it will actually update the uh, style sheet in the browser without forcing the page to refresh at all. So the state of the page doesn't necessarily have to be lost while you work on the styling of it, which is, as I said, really fantastic when you're trying to style things that are accessed through user interaction with the page rather than just at the top. Now, there are several ways you can use Live Reload. The most common is the uh, Mac application you can access through the Mac App Store, and that's what we're going to be using for this video. There's also an uh, alpha Windows version for those of you who use Windows, and there are command line versions for kind of more advanced programmers. I mostly work in Rails, and there's a tool called Guard Live Reload that will automatically handle this all from the command line that use, I use in my development. But for this video, we'll just be using the uh, Mac application. So you'll get that application from livereload.com, as you can see here, and you'll want to install the browser extension that you'll be able to find on the website, second on Google. So you can see there's a Safari, there's a Chrome, there's a Firefox extension. That extension gets installed up here when you use it. So once you've got Live Reload installed, you want to open up the application like so, and I'm just gonna clean that out so I'll show you. You see, by default, you don't have any projects loaded up. Uh, what you want to do to uh, have a project in Live Reload is go into the project directory, in this case my projects folder, screencasts, Live Reload. I'm just going to drag that folder into Live Reload like so. And you'll see there are a handful of options available. Now with Live Reload you can either use a little snippet here of JavaScript that will insert the Live Reload script into the page. And this works on iPads, uh, iPhones and iPad emulators or you can install the browser extension. For the purposes of this video, we'll just be showing you with the browser extension. You'll also see down here that Live Reload will automatically compile pre-compiled languages like SAS, CoffeeScript, and Haml for you. Um, this is really handy. In my previous video for Learnable, I talked about pre-compilers a bit, so check that out if you're interested in understanding uh, why these might be useful. But Live Reload used with pre-compilers is a really nice and very fast uh, workflow for client-side development. You can also run a custom command after processing changes if, if that's necessary to you. So that's it. And you can see down here, we've got a little sign saying waiter for, waiting for a browser to connect. So over here, we have uh, Chrome. Now I've already installed the library load plugin, so I'm not gonna show you how that works. I think you've probably installed the browser plugin before. If we go into our preferences, there's one thing uh, about the library load plugin you have to turn on. It's not turned on by default in Chrome. And that is, if we go to library load here, there's a little checkbox that says allow access to file URLs. Basically what this means is that if you're doing local development, library load is allowed to work on uh, URLs like this that have the file prefix at the front. Uh, I couldn't work this out for about half an hour yesterday, so I'm flagging that now since you'll have to turn it on. Once you've done that, you'll just want to go to a page. In this case, I have this uh, demo page, which is just the blueprint demo page that I'm using to demonstrate library load, and then click there. You can see library load is turned on. You can see one browser is connected and so far we haven't had any changes detected. Nice and simple. 
So in Sublime Text here, I have the demo page open. Now this is not particularly good uh, CSS um, because it's all being compiled from SAS. I'm just using it quickly to demonstrate how this works. So to give a very simple example, if I did a horrible change like body color red, like so, and you can see here, that's not there yet. If I hit save, so I go up here and I save, obviously I do that from the keyboard in real life. You can see that without me having to change anything, the um, page has gone to red text. So if I was to shrink that down a little bit and put that there, and shrink this down a little bit and uh, put it on the right hand side, you'll be able to see how fast this happens. So if I comment that out, save it, you know, less than a uh, half a second later, the uh, page has changed and you'll see up here that no page refresh is actually taking place. If you change the HTML, the JavaScript, it will have to reload the entire page. But if you just change the style sheet or you, for example, change this image or something, live reload will just keep things in place. Now I'm going to show you the one huge advantage that the system has over having to refresh the page other than the time savings. So I have set up a little on-click handler here. If I click on this text, here's a box. You can see that this paragraph here, which is hidden by default, uh, becomes visible, just like a pop-up or something like that would work. If I refresh the page, that obviously vanishes again, and I have to click there again to show it. Now, this paragraph here has an ID of test, and we're going to be able to style this paragraph without having to reload the page and without having to reload the page and click this every single time we want to show it. So, we do this, save the file, and instantly it becomes blue. If we wanted to change that to green, we would just go bam. We don't like that, we'll change it to yellow, bam. As you can see, we can change the styles very, very rapidly and we can type, change the styles and see what we're doing all in real time. There's no delay, there's no refreshing, and there's definitely no mucking around with the page to get to the place we want. Uh, this pays off hugely when you're working on complicated web applications. I'm doing a big Angular application at the moment, and a lot of parts of that page are only visible when you scroll down and you click several things. You know, the cart, for example, is only visible when you've added some products to the cart. And this has allowed me to just sit down and quietly style that cart without having to go through this process again and again and again, and it's saved me huge amounts of time. So that's it for Live Reload. There's really very little to it, no complexity and almost nothing that can go wrong. It's really handy, it's only 10 bucks or something, and I really recommend checking it out. Thank you.